soon as we have made a treatment plan for you, as well, after that first appointment, and we decide that perhaps some further tests are needed or that we might start you on a treatment plan, I think what we really, really want you to feel secure about and what I really want you to feel empowered by is the fact that I can show you the pictures which help to make the condition make a lot more sense. Because when we're talking about the back of your eye, you can't see the back of your eye. You can see if you've got a swollen joint or if you're, you've got a rash on your skin, but you can't see the back of your eye. I can, and with all the technology that we have now in the clinics, we can take photographs and images of the back of the eye. We can t talk you through all of those. So suddenly, this starts to make much more sense. It's not just an abstract concept that's going in, on inside your body that you just don't know about. And for me, I feel that managing a long-term condition like glaucoma, it's absolutely a partnership. It only works if you get good advice from your professional, but also that you understand why we're asking you to do the things that you do. And you can then, take ownership of your treatment and that becomes much easier if you start to understand how we monitor the condition. And so it's very powerful being able to show you the image of the back of the eye and talk you through it so that it makes sense. Also showing you your visual field tests and that's the test you do that tests the peripheral part of your vision. Um, when you put your head in the light bowl and you're asked to press the button when you see the light. At first that seems like a random sort of in 1980s arcade game, but it actually makes a lot of sense when somebody talks you through it and it also actually helps you to perform the test better, which of course helps the professional make better decisions and judgments about your condition. So talking you through all of those tests and the pressures in the eye, I think really, really helps to set you on a pathway where you can understand why we're asking you to take the treatment that we've prescribed, or perhaps we might be deciding that drops are not the right thing and you need an operation. But having that sort of clarity of thought process from both professional and from yourself, and also for your family, I think really helps to, for you to take control of the treatment. So you're no longer doing what the doctor tells you, but you're part of that partnership in managing your own condition. I think it also helps then, when you know what the treatment plan is, is to plan your life around the early days, because the early days are the most unknown. If we're prescribing drops, I think patients often worry about, well, how am I gonna put them in? What if I struggle to put them in? If I wear contact lenses, do I put them in before or after? There are lots of these practical questions. And I think you mustn't ever be afraid about asking those questions. They will never be silly. It will never be a waste of time um, for the doctor because the easier we can make it for you to take your treatment, the easier it is to manage the condition. So I think that sort of feeling of relief when you know, okay, this is why I'm taking these drops, this is why I have to put them in every day, and that you know that we have a treatment goal. So if your pressure is 25 when we start and I say you need a pressure of 15, you come to the next appointment knowing that if the pressure's on track, then that's great and you're tolerating the treatment. So you know already before you come to the follow-up appointment what my hopes and expectations are. Um, and so having that understanding of what each appointment is for, I think is very empowering and also very reassuring. I think it's more difficult if a specialist doesn't really explain what they're expecting from treatment and you come back saying, oh, I was making my eyes red and sore and you know, I, I don't really know if it's worth it. So, but once you have that understanding of what the target is, you might say, well, actually, it doesn't make my eyes feel that uncomfortable and I'm prepared to carry on taking it. Equally, you must never be afraid to say, well, actually, this treatment really is impacting on my life significantly. You know, I turn up to my first meetings, my eyes look red, people are saying to me, oh, what's wrong with you the whole time? And that's ruining my confidence in my job. Then we will look at something else. So having that two-way conversation can only help and you will never, ever ask a silly question. So please don't be inhibited by asking your specialist or relaying difficulties you're having with treatment. I think for other options, particularly surgical, I think that's also another potential freeze moment where, you know, I think everybody slightly hopes that a condition can be treated with medication alone. But of course, there are some types of glaucoma where surgery would be our first choice. And in some ways, 
that can be very powerful because there are types of glaucoma like narrow angle glaucoma or primary angle closure where the surgery may cure you and we don't often say that in glaucoma but there are some potentially curable forms of glaucoma so don't assume that surgery is a bad thing or it means you've got bad disease in some cases and for some patients once we've done the operation you may be cured from your condition so Again, knowing that, I think, makes it easier for you to tackle having the operation. Um, and also, we would, we would make sure that you understood, again, with the aid of pictures and the scans that we have, why surgery is better for you compared to somebody you know down the road who said, oh, well, I only take drops, are you sure you need surgery? You know, it's important that you have relevant information for you. And I think I'd also direct patients, although the internet is a fabulous tool and a resource for looking up um, sort of treatment options for your condition, these will be general and you don't always know whether they're absolutely right for you. So yes, by all means, look at the credible sources, but just remember that every patient is an individual. We have treatment options and we have good clinical trial data, but it's up to your glaucoma professional and your specialist to pick out from their knowledge and experience what the best treatment plan is for you. So it's absolutely not a one size fits all. So don't be alarmed or be uneasy if you think that your professional is recommending something different to what a friend or another member of the family has had. With glaucoma, as soon as we've achieved your target pressure and the disease is stable, as long as you're maintaining your regular follow-ups, then, and the treatment becomes part of your regime, you can pretty much forget about it for most of the time, or at least that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for the glaucoma to be a manageable part of your life, but not for you to be ruled by the condition.